Hello everyone, this is your weekly or bi-weekly dilettante roaming interest, dabbling here on YouTube in an infinite array of subjects from 3D printers to chlorophyll and everything in between. This week I have an update about XYZ calibration cubes on my Creality CR10S Pro and I may have made a small breakthrough. Stay tuned! <sighs> I have reached out to uh, Creality Technical Support and they responded back. Initially, I reached out to basically get a better understanding about their product and to see how would they steer this engagement. I wanted to tell them from the get-go that I don't know how to do this, if it's more feasible to return the printer or it's more feasible to have them help me or guide me through fixing it. And I think I may be speaking with a few people at once, but they had me do a bunch of uh, little tests. And one of them was to take a uh, square, and I used a framing square, to measure if the bed itself is actually bent or warped. And uh, you could see the pictures right now with uh, a little bit of uh, warping in the bed or a little bit of distance in between the framing square and the bed. And I mean the pure bed. It is slightly bent. Now, I guess from the quality control aspect, this may not be a huge problem. So I sent them the pictures back and as you can see on the screen right now, I printed a bunch of XYZ calibration cubes and I sent them this picture that you're looking at. Uh, also, they wanted me to make a video with the Z axis, specifically the right Z axis, which has the tendency to get stuck. I tuned it a little bit and on the previous video, I showed that it still gets stuck, but... It is what it is now. Another issue of mine was the bed leveling. The probe, from my understanding from other people who commented on YouTube, it is not accurate enough on other materials than metal. So I put back the Creality metal plate and I haven't had to do a bed leveling since then. And I printed like five times and the printer was off in between those times and I moved it from the desk to the floor to the shelf and so on and so forth and it seems like the bed leveling seems to stick once you have the metal plate in addition to that i just uploaded two videos for them to look at because i am not sure if my xyz calibration cubes are the quality i need and these are a few shots I mean, actually, there's 15 pictures with the cubes from the same angle and the same lighting with different lighting just to get an opinion from you in the comments, not below, but above. I'm joking, obviously, to see if you get the same quality or better. And I also did this as a test to see if I am able to get a quality in the printouts better than the stock settings that come with QR302. So I started with a uh, 60 millimeter speed, 60 millimeter speed per second. And then I moved down to 50 millimeter and then I played around with the, with the jerk settings. And that seems to have changed the quality of the cubes coming out. And as you can see here, we have the cubes from right to left, but numerated from left to right. Well, bear with me here. So I have cube number five, four, three, two, and one. And if we look at cube number five in different lightings here and here, like on the first and second picture, it looks pretty good, right? And then uh, cube number four looks pretty good as well, at least for my quality. And then three looks pretty good, but then two looks terrible. And then we have cube number one. But if we look at the bottom pictures, 
now we get the lighting that actually makes pronunciates the unevenness of the layers in the faces of the cube and if we look at the other pictures we might get the tendency to say that cube 4 is the best cube or cube 5 is the best cube but when we look down at cube 4 and 5 and 3 and 2 and 1 okay we can see that 1 and 2 seem to be the worst 1 is made with the stock settings of 0.2 millimeters and I changed just a few things I didn't put infill in none of them and I didn't and I put a little bit of a top and bottom layers there like some thickness and I started with 60 millimeters and everything uh, regards to speed and jerk that comes from the factory with cube one then I altered cube two and then three and then four and then five so eventually to me it seems that cube five has the best quality if uh, if you look in the two rows above not the third row on the bottom the two rows above you may th say that cube let's say four may be better than cube five or maybe cube three but cube three to me the x face even in a different lighting seems to have more visible layers protruding in the x face now the difference is in i'm having a tough time basically getting the cube four or cube five to pick it out so please vote or say which one you prefer and also if if you think that these settings are not sufficient or this quality is like way below than what I should expect from the printer, just let me know. I need to know these things. If you have a picture, by all means, link it in the comments, please. So I'm choosing cube five as the best cube from this array of cubes, which is only five cubes, but we got 15 pictures. So I think cube five is better because the face with no letter seems to be smoother, smoother than cube 4 the face with no letter and the face with the x letter seems to be at the same rate and if we look above in different lighting they seem almost similar so that is uh, my take on uh, these cubes and now at the moment i mean these are my settings here in cura this is how i printed the cubes and basically each cube has a different settings and i printed them all at once i do have to thank someone that sent me to another guy's video to watch him on youtube and then i continue watches his stuff and he showed how to print different settings on you know on the same print so now i am printing 14 cubes as we speak they are in the process of being printed so i can take the settings close to cube 5 and cube 4 to see if I can further get better results and I will post my results about these 14 cubes and if I was able to obtain better setting and as I said before I am trying to work with technical support to see if there's actually something wrong with my printer definitely there's something wrong with me obviously I don't know how to 3d print but I'm learning and see if they can guide me into a uh, easier printing area but uh, it seems that at least the bed leveling seems to work right now if I as I reverted to the plate from the manufacturer furthermore I am waiting on their response and they usually respond within 12 hours since the time difference and I hope eventually I'm gonna get to the bottom of this because I've been printing only cubes for a month perhaps I may get to the point where I can build a whole house made out of 3d printing little 20 millimeters by 20 millimeters cubes you know and I may have said you know only once that is a major flaw of mine it took me making YouTube videos to realize the little pet peeves or the little idiosyncrasies in my speech it is quite difficult to be aware or become aware of uh, your speech patterns problems and so on and so forth i will post next week or the week after about these 14 cubes so far please let me know what do you think about these cubes the ones uh, the five cubes i posted online i do have a picture that i may have to link it somewhere in order to for you to get a better zoom in quality into these cubes but so far i hope these will do these right here 
All right. Thank you for your attention.